language is powerful. When you say something long enough, even if it's wrong, people will start to believe you. And when you say something like, Esther McVeigh misled Parliament, misled committees, it doesn't really illustrate what she's actually done. It seems more wishy-washy. So let's stop painting a nice picture around Esther McVeigh. She has lied, point blank, because she wants people to suffer. She knows that the system she built her universal credits on is flawed. She said so herself, and yet in the same tweet, she defended universal credits, saying that it was a better system. That is a lie. Every study that's been done has shown universal credits is possibly the worst thing to happen. Her actions are psychopathic. They are indicative of someone who just wants to see people suffer. She says it's perfectly fine that people are only surviving because of food banks, because that's what we need to do. Live within your means. Pull yourself up. I'm sorry, but if you're working two, three jobs and you still have to go to food banks, there's clearly a massive failure of government, not of the people working their asses off. If you have a job and you are homeless, that is a failure of government. That is a failure of Esther McVeigh. Her policies, her disgusting rhetoric and her outright lies to defend herself and keep this harmful toxic policy in place should not be tolerated now i don't know at the moment if theresa may will give her the axe i don't know if i just don't know i don't know what may is planning on doing if there was any justice, then Esther McVeigh would be fired point blank, gone forever, and face a massive multi-million pound fine, which would go to the people that she has screwed over, the lives she has destroyed, and to the children that she has forced into poverty. But this isn't necessarily a just world. And we can see that with Amber Rudd, for example. She didn't get fired necessarily, she just got moved around a bit. Still taking in that massive paycheck, still getting all the benefits, just like Esther McVeigh. And if Esther McVeigh does get removed as head of uh, Department Work and Pensions, I can't see her getting the sack for this. Because at the moment in our plutocracy, we have the rich and powerful defending the rich and powerful at every single turn. So here's the best thing I think we can do. Overwhelm Esther McVeigh's Twitter, her social media accounts, and let it, make, and let it be perfectly clear of how disgusting her actions are. Esther McVeigh won. That's her Twitter handle. I will leave it down below. Don't let up on this because this isn't the first time she's done it. This is the second time that she's held this position and it is the second time that she has destroyed people's lives. I hate Ian Duncan Smith more than anyone for his actions and for the blood that is on his hands. But Esther McVeigh... I didn't think I'd ever be saying this, but it's so much worse than Ian Duncan Smith. I'm not advocating physical violence in any way, shape or form. That's not how we will get things done. But fill her social media with the truth. Tell her how repulsive her actions have been and don't let up. While you're at it, maybe let Theresa May know she really shouldn't be Prime Minister.